Ladies and gentlemen, here we are at the starting line of the Sir Thomas Cup Cup race. And here with a word to the contestants is that grand old sportsman, Sir Thomas Cup himself. Ahoy, seafarers. This year's winner will take home the diamond-studded silver Sir Thomas Cup Cup. Yay! $50,000 in cash. Yay! And a year's supply of Sir Thomas Cup's jams and jellies made from reconstituted catfish whiskers. Yeah! Now, all contestants to the starting line. Another of the world's most exciting sports is Tom Slick. And here he is. Hi, racing fans. Tom Slick, what have you done to your race car? I've converted the Thunderbolt grease slapper to a supersonic speedboat, Marigold. Isn't she a sock dollager? It will never work, Tom. There's no such word as never in ocean speedboat racing, Marigold. Climb aboard. See you later, Gertie. I doubt it, hon. The boats are approaching the starting line. There's the ten-pipe tide ripper and the back-burning beach bunny. And there is the twin pod surf slipper driven by the internationally known sissy, Anson Snobsworthy the fifth and his girlfriend, Wilma Willow. Anson, you couldn't be Tom Slick if he were tied hand and foot and sealed in cement. Oh, no. All I have to do is press one of these buttons and I'll leave Tom Slick at the starting line. Uh-oh, there's the signal. L let's see you pull out of this one, Tom Slick. Ready, you sea dogs. Time again for the raising of the sail, the weighing of the anchor, the battening of the hatches, the draining of the scuppers, and the... But let's bid farewell to Sir Thomas and join the racers. The twin pod surf slipper has jumped to an early lead, followed by the back-burning beach bunny and the ten-pipe tide ripper. What about Tom Slick? That Thunderbolt beast slapper is still at the starting line. Don't fret, Tom, baby. Dirty Crowler will spring you loose. Beat it, old lady. Young man, you should always speak respectfully to an old lady. Especially an old lady who knows karate. Now, whoop! Tom, Dirty Crowler is overboard. You'll have to stop. There's no such word as stop in speedboat racing, Marigold. How about slow down? There goes the Thunderbolt Grease Slapper and trailing behind her, Gertie Growler. Don't stop, Tom, boy. I'll just ski along here on my hippie boots. I told you I'd leave Tom Slick at the starting line. Then who's that just behind us? There's nobody just behind us. Right. Now he's in front of us. Follow us, Snobsworthy. We'll show you the way. <laughs> Anson, you can't even beat an old lady in tennis shoes. Those are hippie boots, Wilma, but no matter. When I push this button, it's goodbye, Tom Slick. Ridiculous. The only way you could win now would be to torpedo his boat. There's the signal, Captain. I see it, Bilge Rat. Get the torpedo ready to fire. Aye, aye, sir. Aye, aye? That's very seamanlike, Bilge Rat. No, it's not. You are standing on my foot. Aye, aye, aye. Enough of your japery. Run up the ladder and see if you can spot the converted Thunderbolt grease slapper from the conning tower. But, my captain, you... No buts, Pilchret, or you're liable to get my goat. <laughs> up the ladder. That's better. Now, what was it you were going to say? I was just going to say, you forgot the surface. Oh. Well, anybody can make one little mistake. The converted Thunderbolt grease slapper is widening its lead. Drat. So that's your plan, to cheat. Remember, Anson, cheaters never prosper. Why haven't those fools blown the Thunderbolt out of the water? You mean those fools? They're the ones. I have an idea, Anson. What is it? Give up. No. When I push this last button, the race is mine no matter what you say. Yeah, it would take a sea monster to stop Tom Slick now. You called? Well, Tom Slick, you've done it again. The race isn't over yet, Gertie. Tom, look! Hi, my name is Ringo Starfish with one R. I'm gonna swallow you so my employer, Anson Snobsworthy the Fifth, can win the race. Your employer? What's he paying you? $50,000 and the Sir Thomas Cup Cup. How about the year's supply of Sir Thomas jams and jellies made from reconstituted catfish whiskers? Blech! Is that part of the prizes? Sure is, kiddo. Why, that's my favorite food. He tried to cheat me. Now, Tom, move out. Right, Gertie. 
And so with great pride and extreme pleasure, I... Thief! Call the police! But, Sir Thomas, I'm Tom Slick. I won the cup. And you've got it, Tom Boy. Anson, a turtle with wax feet could beat you. Hi! Oh. What are you doing here? I'm going to swallow you because you tried to cheat me out of a year's supply of Sir Thomas Cup's jams and jellies made from reconstituted catfish whiskers. Wah! Anson, cheating on your own cheaters, why... Wilma Willow, shut up. Oh, Anson, you're so masterful. I am? You don't know how long I've waited for you to tell me to shut up. Oh, your love has made a new man of me, Wilma. Let's go home and leave the wraithing to Tom Slick. You didn't swallow them. No, even I couldn't swallow a happy ending like that. <laughs>